Welcome back to my channel, Frugal with John. Today we're going to go through a new computer, another new computer I picked up, which is a, uh, a W530. Uh, I was having trouble editing. Uh, I was, couldn't do much with the uh, T, what is it? T430 uh, with the i5. This one has the uh, i7 four core processor, but it needs some upgrades. So I ordered what I figure it should need. It's uh, I tried it, it's just running a tad hot. So I'm gonna have to put the uh, new thermal paste on the processor, clean the fan, uh, upgrade the RAM. I'm gonna redo the hard drives because I noticed uh, it has a bad sector in the SSD. So uh, hard drive SSDs only last so long, uh, roughly 10 years. I believe this computer is seven years old now. So throw that hard drive out, put a new one in, uh, so I don't lose any data. Anyway, I'll go through uh, what I picked up and what I'm going to change. Okay, what do we have here? Kingston 480 gig SSD. That's going to be the main drive. Thermal Grizzly, Thermal Paste. I have to do both computers. Uh, this one's running a little hot too. So, okay, that one's done. What do we got in here? The Kingston 480 gig MSATA hard drive. That's going in here also. Okay, that's all that's in that one. This one is okay. This, I don't know if I'm going to use it uh, because I'm using these for uh, editing videos. So rendering puts a lot of extra heat on the RAM. And so the MSATA, I picked up, I don't know if you can see it, I picked up a heat sink. I don't know if it's going to fit, but I have it. I'm going to try it. And what else is in here? Okay. Oh, wow, I didn't think they were that small. Uh, just stick on uh, letters for this computer because I have a uh, the T, the R, the G. I think they're G's. B. Like I say, I mentioned in an earlier video when I got this one. It was well used. I got that one really cheap. This one I paid uh, 350 So... This one works fine, except it's heating up a bit and the numbers were wore off. This is fairly cheap. So I'm going to redo the numbers on that. And what's in this one? It's like Christmas all over again. Okay, the RAM. What do we have here? They're eight gig sticks, uh, 1600, uh, CL9, 204 pin. Okay, 16 in each pack, so a total 32 gigs. And I'd say the, it's the uh, CL9, which is a little faster than the, uh, the normal RAM. We're gonna try. So that also goes in and What do we have in this box? Yeah, that's all in there. And of course,
your isopropanol alcohol, 99.9% pure. That's to clean the thermal paste off the uh, processor and the heatsink. You're supposed to use 99.9. .9. Anyway, that was hard to get. I tried to buy it locally. Normally, at one time, you could buy stuff like this locally, but every place around here was sold out. I got lucky. I was on Amazon, and it was overpriced. Anything to do with alcohol nowadays is overpriced. So anyway, I'm going to get started. To uh, First of all, I'm going to do this one. I'm just going to tear this one apart, or take it apart gently, and get it upgraded. And then uh, I'm going to also show you how to clone the hard drive back, the hard drive I take out. I'm going to take it out, put an enclosure, add with the software, and clone the entire hard drive back into this one. Anyway, so we're going to get on this. I mentioned earlier that was for RAM. That was just not thinking. It's not for the RAM. It's for the MSATA hard drive. It's supposed to be for uh, M2 SSD. But I'm going to try it on this because when you're rendering, they do create a lot of heat. So I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going to fit. It does come with a screwdriver, which I'm going to try. But it's a cheap screwdriver, this little thing. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I prefer using this. Okay. I'm just touching metal things in the, my camera lady, just in case I have any built up static. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of it. Okay, I don't have any. Anyway, so we're going to start this. I've never had uh, this particular model part before. But it is a Lenovo, so we'll start like any Lenovo by, first of all, removing the battery. Turning it over. Hitting the power button, just to make sure there's no residual charge left in the unit. Let me try this screwdriver. I don't know if that's too much light or not. Okay, yeah, you can see there's dust in there. So if it's on here, it's probably going to be through the entire laptop. <laughs> I should have a ground strap on me. Okay, these are four gigs. There's 16 gigs in here, so if these are four, there's four of them in here at four gigs a piece. That would be the hard drive. First time in here, so. That would be the hard drive, and this was 260 gigs, 2.5. As you take them out, check the size of them. Oh, long again. They're all different sizes. It's actually missing a screw for the... Uh, you just screw missing for the uh, drive, the DVD drive, CD drive. So I've never taken out two screws that are the same size yet. Some of these screws go down and hold the uh, keyboard in place, and some only go just to hold the back cover in place. 
or odds and ends. Anyway, I'm going to go back to where I made a drawing of the back of the laptop, and every screw I take out is going into, I put a hole in the paper, a corresponding spot on the paper. So when I go to put it back together, I know exactly where each screw goes. If there's only a couple, I just take a picture, but I've run across too many different sizes. That should make my life simple. Okay. And I'm missing a, a hole, which is right. Right there. <clears throat> okay, so we slid the keyboard out. Now this one here, I took this cable because it was blocking this one here. And there's a ribbon cable for the keyboard. It's a little difficult to get out. It's plastic. Okay, keyboard's out. I'll just move that out of the way. Okay. Now, We're not going to be, I'm going to take these out. This was also another four gigs. And we got a one oddball in here. I'm going to take this out. This is the oddballs. Okay, it's just Samsung, and these are not. Okay. I don't know if you noticed, I got another light set up here with a magnifying glass on it. Because uh, I was trying to take the cable for the uh, trackpad, mouse pad, whatever you want to call it, out. And I wasn't quite sure I had to get a better look at it. I, I couldn't see it. This is on the uh, keypad. You can see the end. So I found the easiest place to lift it, as it's sitting down here, would be on the left top in front of the uh, computer. So I just grabbed it, basically this part right here. I grabbed it there and I took it off that way. And to take the trackpad off, like I say, I looked everywhere. I went down with my magnifying glass and. Anyway, I figured out that this actually lifts up. And just from looking at it, you can't really see there. Now, I'll let the camera lady come in and see that. Can you see it good? That was down. This lifts up. And after that's lifted up, then this pulls out nice and easy. So it's just a little latch so essentially it's a little latch that goes right here and it's, it's down then you just lift it up and you pull this out okay 
Oh, we'll move the camera back and I'll just take the bezel off around here, which I don't. I use plastic wedges to kind of get under here. Nope. Okay. That's what's holding it in. My bad. Don't forget to take this out. This is a PCI slot. I think that's what was holding it in. Okay, yes. And there's a lot of dust in there. Okay, so we'll set that over here. <clears throat> now, we'll take a look at it and see what we got. 